slept fantastic on this four inch mattress last night. Pretty happy with the sleeping setup now, especially with these two pillows. It's a lot easier to lean back. Here's my view this morning. Last night it rained a little bit and I found a small leak right here. So I'll have to patch that up at one point. But yeah, we're gonna get up and get on with the day. You can see where it's been leaking a little bit right there. So it's really not that bad. I think what I need to do is just put some silicon or something in here. It's either coming from this part or this part. Either way, I think that's gonna be an easy fix. And keep things simple for breakfast. Just got cliff bar. Today looks like we're in for a decent day. The sun's coming out, it's pretty warm out, and I'm excited to get down to the river, see what the conditions are like, and start fishing. And we're spending the whole day in and around the truck cab camper. We're gonna be fishing, but we're gonna come back here for lunch, and we're gonna go find a cool spot to camp tonight. All right. Time to get on with the day here. It is a nice day, but it's looking like it's gonna be a little bit windy today. Now it's still April, so things haven't really picked up yet. The fishing is still really slow, and yesterday the water was high. Oh, there's a deer. How's it going? You look just about as tired as I am. All right, bye. Let's go take a trip down to the dam pool, see what the water level is at, and I'll judge my next location based on that. Flows are definitely still really high. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna fish this today. This level is just too much, even for my spay rod. It's unfortunate, uh, but gives me a chance to explore the rest of the river. That was weird. I don't know where that beaver was trying to go, but... <laughs> We're gonna go downstream to some prettier parts of the river, see if any fish have moved in, go from there. So I made my way down to one of my favorite runs. I was hoping to see some fish here this morning, but 
The water is extremely high. This whole area, this is usually dry and it's all flooded behind me. So I'm gonna grab the spay rod. We're gonna take a couple prospecting casts, see if we can't catch a fish. And if not, I really came down here just to enjoy a cup of coffee to start my morning. And to begin the day, we're gonna be using this white retriever with a pink tungsten head. I gotta say, I'm not too optimistic about this spot this morning. Normally I can see a bunch of fish sitting in this run but they haven't pushed up from the lake just yet. There's only one real way to find out, right? I'm just gonna swing a couple flies across. Now I'm not gonna take too much time doing this. I'm gonna take a couple steps downstream with each cast, let it swing and just kind of prospect the area, see if we can get any fish to turn on the fly. I didn't get any real luck in this run this morning. I'm feeling a little tired still, so I'm gonna brew myself up some coffee and we're gonna sit back and relax by the river for a while. Well, we got a cup of coffee here. We're gonna sit back by the banks of the river and just relax for a minute. Ideally, I'd like to go out and fish this pool right here. It's got a pretty deep run here and a really nice shelf to fish back here. But with the water being as high as it is, it's just a little bit risky for me to cross right now. You could definitely do it, but I just don't want to risk it with my camera gear. But we're going to keep moving. I mean, ideally, that's where I'd like to fish, but there's some other places I can go to. I checked out another couple spots this morning, but didn't really get any fish and decided that I'd end up back at the dam pool just to give it a go, but we didn't catch any fish. We're gonna take a lunch break, and in the afternoon, I'm gonna change tactics, and I think we're still gonna be able to get one today. Sometimes that's just the way it goes, I guess. It is fishing after all, not catching. All right, it is Time to take a break. We're gonna have some lunch. That way I can get re-energized. See if we can get one fish today. It's still April, so one fish a day or two fish during this starting time is completely fine with me, especially with the water being as high as it is. It's kind of tough to get my flies as far down as I need to. Pretty much the same sandwich I had yesterday. Just a turkey sandwich with some hot sauce in there. Pickles, probably a little bit soggy. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, but that's okay. And then we got ourselves some apple, some crackers and cheese. I was pretty hungry. So I tried to go out and see if we could find a new campsite for tonight. The, there's some primitive sites just down the road here. And unfortunately the road in there is still pretty soggy. Between the road closures and wet roads, I'm kind of stuck to this campsite. And this one's not bad. Last night there was all kinds of owls around here. 
but there was like three or four in this area. And then there's also a vernal pool over there. So there's lots of frogs at night. It's kind of peaceful. That was a nice break, but time to head back out there. See if we can't get at least one fish to the net today. That would be nice. Can't guarantee I'm gonna make it happen, but I'm gonna give my best effort here in the afternoon. See if we can't get one. We are gonna be starting with these right here. Now this is the new Mainly Outdoors fly box that I've created. There's this one and another one. If you guys wanna help support the channel, you can pick one of those up in the website below. If you guys want some flies, you can also check that out by submitting a custom order on the website. Earlier this morning, I saw a lot of Helger mites in the water. And so we're gonna use this fly box in particular because it's made to imitate large stone flies and Helger mites. So we have a articulated pattern that I'm hoping is gonna grab some attention. And then I also have my favorite stone fly pattern that I actually intended to create to look like a stone fly and a Helger mite. So we're gonna put on these two flies and hopefully that's gonna be our ticket to a fish this afternoon. Caught one. There we go. That's more like it. It's a nice landlocked salmon that looked like it took that stonefly pattern. Feels good to get one. There's not many in the river right now, but man, I thought I'd be picking up a little more by now. Well, that fish just makes my day right there. It's a nice native landlocked salmon too. Couldn't get any better for the, probably the one fish that we're gonna get today, but hey, that's all right. Still got something to look forward to. I'll probably pack it up soon and go make some dinner unless I catch another fish here. We're gonna go back out to the campsite and cook up some dinner. I'll show you guys what we're making tonight. I am really excited. Could use a warm meal right now. That was some pretty, pretty cold fishing out there, especially in the wind. So I will show you guys what we are making today. All we really need is our jet boil again. Tonight we are gonna be making a beef stroganoff. This is a pretty common dish for those pre-made camping meals that you see. Quite simple, we have some egg noodles, broccoli, beef jerky, and mushrooms. We have a beef bouillon cube, I think that's how you pronounce that, and a little bit of cheese. I forgot to grab it at a gas station, but you can add some half and half to this. And this won't really take me long to make. I'm just gonna put in some water, probably a cup, cup and a half something like that. You can always dump the extra out if we don't need it. Take our veggies and dump that into the gallon bag. And we're just, oh, <laughs> uh oh. Don't need much heat on that now. So I'm gonna empty out a little bit of water because I think we have a, just a bit too much. Noodles are just about ready. Should be good. We're gonna put in our beef stock cube, add in the cheese. I'm kind of hoping that cheese is gonna dissolve a little bit and make sort of a sauce, but ideally you would want just little milk packets. Holy cow. 
This one took a little bit longer than yesterday and definitely needs some tweaking. There's a little bit of extra water in it that hopefully everything will absorb. Probably should have just done some like Velveeta and then dumped it directly in here. Maybe next time I'll do that. There you go, that's, <laughs> there's dinner. <laughs> All right, moment of truth here. It smells good. There we have it. This is my beef jerky stroganoff. Probably could have done with some Velveeta cheese. I think that would be a good replacement for what I use. Actually, I mean, it's pretty good. I think it's lacking a little bit of flavor. There's a deer watching me <laughs> just down the way. I could probably add a few ingredients in this, spice it up a little bit and it would be better, but it's a really simple camping meal to make, so I'm not complaining. I think the Velveeta, the mustard, and the half and half would help this a lot. All right, that deer is just staring at me. Right on the other side of that fence. He's just been watching me for the last two minutes after, while I've been talking. Probably wondering what on earth I'm doing. <laughs> There's one behind them too. I'm gonna have to try to spice this one up at home, see if I can make it a little bit better. Uh, so if you have some suggestions on how I can improve this while keeping it easy, and I want it to have non-perishable items. So if you have any suggestions for that, let me know in the comments. I'm pretty tired and it's early. It's not even late yet. <laughs> it's 6.40 right now, so <laughs> I guess that's close enough. I'm probably gonna call it a night at seven or eight. Thank you guys once again for watching. If you wanna help support my work, you can go check out the website down below. Some merchandise on there. I can tie some flies for you or whatever you'd like. And I will catch you tomorrow when hopefully we see a few more fish.